Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. She's a breakout actress who's been seen in hit series like Survivor's Remorse and what we like to say, Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> now she's continuing her rise as Angela Parks in the Bounce TV drama Saints and Sinners. Please welcome our friend, Don, Don Hapkinney. <laughs> yes! You better walk it out, ma'am. Hi! You look amazing. Yes. Happy to see you. I'm Thanks so God. proud of you. Hey, Good to see you. To have a seat right Thank here. You. Thank wow. You. Look you at ladies. Here. Thank look at you. you. Yes. And congratulations on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Thank you. We're, all, we're both of us are very happy because we know you personally. Know. So to sit on this side and interview you, that's uh, that's a testament to your work and ours as well. Absolutely. <laughs> Y'all are like my sisters. Yes. This is a beautiful sister thing. Circle. Yes, sister there you go. Know. Well, you're in the circle. Right. Well, this sister didn't know that you were an avid bowler. Did not know that. Honey, it's real. When I tell you, this does not mean Wakanda. Yes. Oh, this mean, means Dawn Halfkenny, Miss D. Slim on the bowling lane. Okay? What? Miss D. Slim? <laughs> yes. D. Slim. I have my own ball, my bag, and my own shoes. I don't play. Really? At all. When did you even get into bowling, and how did it spark your interest? I like to say that I've been bowling since birth. Because oh, I'm wow. that good. Yeah, I like to talk junk. On yeah, bowling. I can tell, because you started the movement yeah, and everything. Yeah, she ready. Come on, pull up. Hilarious. Yes. Good. So, you've experienced a lot of, uh, well, knows in the industry. Tell me when you got your first yes. Like, what was that for you, and how did that impact your career? To be honest with you, any time that I get a yes or any time I book a role, it's a blessing. Yes. You know, because we do hear a lot of no's. Sure. And um, I'm just so thankful because you just never know. Sometimes I can walk outside of an audition and mm -hmm. I think I kill it, yeah. or I think, you know what, I know I'm going to book, and I won't get a and call. And never right? get a call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's like, you just got to kind of let it roll off your shoulder and keep on moving. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you have, and you have kept moving, and you just doing you your thing. with me, you have. <laughs> you were, yeah, she and I were in a play together called Stripped, yes. and to see her just yes. continue to grow, it's just a beautiful thing. And I tell you that you. every time I see you. You do. I do, I, I do. you inspire me. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, um, to switch gears a little bit, yes. I know you're working in a book to help families who have uh, yes. dealt with breast cancer. You lost well, your... Yes, actually, my mother is, um, it's a story that I'm actually telling. You're so telling it's, the yes, story. Yes, it's my story. Okay. Um, I'm just adding some, adding some finishing touches. Um, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer four yeah. years ago, and she lost her battle, too. And to see her go from a strong, independent, phenomenal woman to a woman who was just so, she was weak, yeah. you know, and she was hurt and she was in so much pain. And, you know, she was the, I, I'm, I was raised the only child and mm -hmm. she was a single parent, mm -hmm. I mean, a single mother. So mm -hmm. it was very hard to see that. But you know what? She, I'm a strong person. You yes. never realize how strong you are until you have no choice but to be strong. Right, and I, she is so proud of you. She I is, know she honey, is. Honey, she is in heaven right now, but like, that's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. Although I can imagine this book um, being very therapeutic for you, but yes. you meant for it to be uh, um, therapeutic for others also. Absolutely. Um, I've had so many people reach out to me and they just say, you know what, Don, we don't know where your strength comes from, mm -hmm. but you have definitely inspired us. And, um, you know, they. I'm thankful, you know, not to knock anyone, but I'm thankful that I didn't have to go to a therapist or I didn't mm -hmm. have to be on medication. I am, uh, I'm, on, I'm all about God, honey. Yes. I'm yes. all about God, so I pray a lot. Mm -hmm. And he's, that's what's really gotten me through, yeah. you know? Yeah, To yeah. the next level, he's real. Yes, um, yes, yes. Well, the next level, Saints and Sinners. Saints and yes. Sinners! Yes. Season I'm three. so excited. Uh, yes. What's the biggest lesson learned or what can we expect from this season? Honey, season three is gonna blow the audience away. Oh, really? Yes. Yes. All of that, absolutely. Season one, season two, this times ten was mm -hmm. season three. Yeah. But um, you know, Saints and Sinners is basically about a church, a corrupt church that's mm -hmm. um, outside of the city of Cyprus, mm -hmm. and everything that you wouldn't think that happens behind the scenes of a church: murder, mm. greed, lust, lies, yeah. scandal right. happens at Greater Hope. Yeah. So. Expect that. Just be at the edge of your seat. Be right, ready. right. Get your popcorn. And, <laughs> and, and to piggyback on that, like, yeah. what is it like working with such a powerful cast? Oh, my. So I'm the, I like to call myself the fresh face of the mm -hmm. group because everyone has been in the industry for so many years. And, you know, to work alongside with Clifton Powell mm -hmm. or Vanessa Bell Calloway yes. or Christian Keys, I just say, is nothing, it's, it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a true blessing just for the simple fact that, you know, they, welcome me with open arms, mm -hmm. like a little sister. I gotta ask you this. Yes. What is your dream role? Because Ooh. did you see this in your future, in your cards? Did you to see this? To be honest with you, I didn't. My dream role is to play someone who is, like, psychotic. Okay. Like, I want to play you someone who's in the church. Yeah, that is true. Okay, now let's go ahead and say uh, 
Ty Scott, let's go ahead and say something about that. She's right. the creator of the show, so shouts out to Ty. But um, to be honest, it's just someone like that's in a stray jacket, you mm -hmm. know, just someone crazy. I don't know if you all are familiar with the movie Orphan, mm -hmm. but she was crazy at the end of the movie. It's like, what? This little girl was going through something, but she was a grown woman. Yeah. So it was kind of mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. But it was good. Good. Mm -hmm. It worked. So. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, as stated, we, we did a play together. What yes. do you like more, theater or television? Television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? I, mean, I think because theater takes up so much time. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm fast paced. Yeah. I like to keep it moving. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, theater is that, not, not theater, nothing wrong with theater, but I'm just more for movies and television. Yeah. We oftentimes yeah. ask ladies here, to, well, everyone who comes yeah. down to the circle, who is in your sister circle? Yeah. You know what? My friends and family, mm -hmm. you know, they inspire me the most, and I just keep nothing but positive energy around me. I can tell. And I'm glowing, huh? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you know, it shows. I know. Yes. But you know, when you keep positive people around you, you know, you just glow. And That's look right. At God. And look at God. Right. He is yes. doing some amazing things in your life. Continue he success. Is. As you Thank know, you we so love very you. Much. Thank so, you so much. So, so much. Saints and Sinners <laughs> on Bounce TV yes. every Sunday at 9 p.m. Please yes. make sure you watch our sister.